today's video, we are going to talk about the bone chilling lorem ipsum. <laughs> I hope you all like the series thus far of the Halloween spooky theme. And for this theme, we're actually going to go a little bit bony with the lorem ipsum today. So first off, what is lorem ipsum? Essentially what lorem ipsum is, is actually a placeholder text that you can use during your design or development phase to help you visualize and design the layouts or certain placement of certain ideas or single components that you put inside of your designs or web pages. And the reason why we have something like lorem ipsum is if you really think about it, if you are planning for content and the content requires tons of text, you're not going to have a bunch of lines or you have to come up on the spot of your own text, even though later on you might even disregard that text. So a better thing for you to do is just to do some sort of a placeholder text. And a lot of placeholder texts out there, they're not as popular or as most used as lorem ipsum. So that might be something that you will use in your design phase or when you're developing. You can just set aside a certain area and then kind of play around with the styles or kind of play around with the layouts with the text there because that will give you a much more realistic approach of what the words and layouts and designs are. And the reason why this is so bone chilling is because of this from first glance lorem ipsum looks like this it looks like lorem ipsum dull set asthma etc 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 and you can use a couple words of these a whole paragraph a couple sentences or a few pages with this content there's a lot of lorem ipsum for you to use and all it is is uh, it's just placeholder text you don't need to know what it means or what it says or anything and it doesn't say anything bad or anything like that it just looks very different but we don't really care how it looks like for now because we'll later on replace the lorem ipsum with actual content this will really help us to put some placeholder content and it will help us to use that in a much more realistic way because if you Take a first glance here of the first paragraph of lorem ipsum. It has a bunch of words with a bunch of links. Uh, so that's much more coherent with the English sentences because of how the way it looks. So it's easier to lay it out in lorem ipsum than in actually trying to do it yourself. And that's really the main purpose of lorem ipsum is placeholding. And you can add lorem ipsum anywhere that there should be text. And then you can play around with it to see if it works, if you need more like styling or maybe try to lay it out at a different spot. Lorem Ipsum is a great way to do that. And then later on, once you come back, once the designs that are approved or when your website is at a good point or when your design or whatever it is that you're trying to do is at a good point, you can then later on refactor it instead of saying lorem ipsum to be the actual text that it should be like the history or like the about paragraph, something about the company, things like that. So lorem ipsum is just a good placeholder for now. And then later on will be refactored to actual text. Now you're probably wondering where it came from and it's actually written in Latin which is a pretty dead language is not used as often anymore. And I'm pretty sure it's very rare uh, and you can really learn it with specialized classes or if you really research it because it's not currently used as frequently as its own language anymore. And with this lorem ipsum, it actually came from a lot of different Latin words that are all bunched up together. And, and over the years, Lorem Ipsum actually got together with a much more coherent way of just random Latin words all together with a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of sentences together within Latin. And that's how it came to be and it actually got improved and added on year after year. And then in certain parts of Lorem Ipsum was actually spoken in Latin way back before like 100 AD. So this was a very old language that is still being used, but only certain bits of it actually does make sense. So we're still using 
a really cool thing of history here is lorem ipsum. And it actually became the industry standard of placeholding ever since the 1500s, is that in the 1500s, they actually needed some lorem ipsum or some placeholder to put inside of newspapers or inside of certain designs aspect. And instead of trying to figure it out yourself or have some dummy text, they actually use lorem ipsum for a placeholder text. And that's really cool. And ever since then, we've been using lorem ipsum for a placeholding text or a certain version or different versions of it for a placeholding and you should use it as well. It's a really good tool for you to have. And a lot of text editors, and you can always find it online, comes with lorem ipsum for you to use when you're designing or when you are creating content uh, or applications. You can always have that tool in your disposal. Because you don't want to sit down and come up with like a few sentences just to fill up a certain paragraph on the screen or on a design that's just inefficient so a better thing to do is use something that was already there or something that was already in use for the last 500 or so plus years and many more years to come and there's actually so many versions of lorem ipsum because if you're really bored with lorem ipsum which you may or may not be, it really doesn't matter. There's actually a bunch of alternatives that you can use. Some of the alternatives include like bacon ipsum. And bacon ipsum is just a bunch of bacon related texts within their place order texts like pork chop, meatball, bacon, etc. Or cat ipsum, everything having to do with a cat or a story or whatever it is that a cat does, you can use cat ipsum or zombie ipsum, which is a bunch of zombie related words or there's even hipster ipsum which does a bunch of hipster terms the delorean hip ipsum which is a bunch of movie quotes from back to the future and even there's one of cheese ipsum where it lists out different types of cheese for placeholders and these are all good placeholder texts that you can use and there's so many other placeholder texts out there different versions of ipsum itself like Every single superstar, movie star, they probably have one, I'm pretty sure. Like any thing that's very trendy, it probably has it as well. So there's other versions of Lorem Ipsum. Even if you don't like one, you probably would like or use the other. So this is a lot more fun if you try different versions of it instead of using the regular one. So that's pretty cool as well. So I would definitely look in into other versions of lorem ipsum if you're interested for something a little bit different for your placeholder text. And that's pretty much it for this video. Essentially what lorem ipsum is, it's just a placeholder text and it's nothing too crazy or it just looks crazy and intimidating at first so it's nothing that is any bone chilling type of environment. And I would really recommend that you would use it inside of your workflow. And that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next video. See ya.